Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Gladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the tangle Kumili from Indrani Novello. This is an interesting and neat tangle. It's kind of, I don't think I would, maybe I would call it a, an accent tangle. I, I'm coming up with some ideas myself. <laughs> Kind of based on how I would use them. I mean, although this could be a feature tangle, I suppose. But if you take a look at the For More Inspiration link, which I'm trying to find. There it is. Um, that's kind of how it's used as, a, as an accent. You know, some here, some there. Because it's not, I mean, you could use it to fill in a section, I suppose. But um, anyway, it's neat. And that's all that matters. All right. So it starts off with an orb um well largish orb in the center of wherever you want it to go try to get my let's see get this so that way my hand is not in the way i keep wait you know what maybe if i there <laughs> I, I always think about it too late um all right then now if if you have done oh, i'm trying to think what other tangles start off this way um spoken is is by zentangle is one tangle that i think of with this stroke. So I like to use kind of, well, it's a takeoff. We're not necessarily landing where it's, we take off and stop, I suppose, but cause I like to feel like I'm slingshotting off or I'm just looking at hers. I'm trying to tell how she did it, but you know, you could do it this way. Well, let me show you my way, which is just to trace over a little bit and then have it kind of come off in a straight ish line. Or I suppose, you could like here i could just start here oops don't do that and have it come off that's why i don't do that and then sometimes they come off a little curvy let's make this a little bit longer now it just looks like you know uh this would be one of my stick figures uh actually that'd be more creative than one of my stick figures and hair blowing in the wind um <laughs> And however far apart you want these, of course, but knowing that you're, we're going to be putting orbs in there. So this part is completely up to you, however you want to space them. Then, and now, um, interesting, uh, Indrani has two ways you can do this. And I, so I structured my, well, yeah, just, just the end part of the my version of the step outs just a little bit differently. And I think, because I kind of like the way it turned out, I'm going to share it with you so I can show you both ways, uh, an alternative su suggestion that uh, Andrani had as well. All right, first thing, though, is putting a bunch of orbs. So we pick a, pick a spoke, any spoke, and we'll start there. And just putting some orbs. Now, if you uh, have a similar challenge that I, that I do or a worry, that, you know, where to start and stop that orb, I do it right here, right on that line of the previous one, kind of on its side, and then work to make sure that um, I'm hitting uh, this. I suppose, well, you could start it here. The challenge that I have had in the past is, well, or, or not hitting that line. I don't know. <laughs> I hit it just a little bit. Um, is you know, is like, doing an orb but then not having it connected it's silly but you know okay so that was her one way and you could do all of them like that the alternative is and i decided i was going to do this on i was going to do this alternatively and i think it turned out rather neat um I'm gonna, i'll do partial ones here but the other uh the alternative was to do the orb like that on either side of the line so it's completely up to you and so what I'm gonna do here is just do I'm, I'm hollow bowing underneath here is what that's my thought and then we'll alternate and it's you know again you have fun with it see see that's what Good thing we can we can fix most everything i was i was starting with my pen on the line there we go and then you know and, and it's just one of those things too uh you know work so that way it's 
Um, now, uh, <laughs> so it works best for you. I say that as as my I'm like, well, and and this one, I'm doing completely opposite. Well, not completely opposite. I'm starting it here, and I'm I am managing to touch. I'm not getting it exactly half and half, but that's all right. I don't know. You know, sometimes you change up how you do it just just because. Well, and this because of the way I have this positioned. I'm starting right. I'm starting an ending on the line. Well, let's just do an extra one right there, and it doesn't matter. I just like to share stuff if it helps at all. <laughs> So that way too, um, and only because this is how my brain works. So I share it and just in case that there is some, you know, for the for the one other weirdo out there. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't call us weirdos. Um, well, we'll find a better name. Um, but the, that's uh, where your brain like needs to have permission to do certain things. Oh, like I should only do it this way. It's so silly, um, but it is. It, but it is. <laughs> Oh, you know what? I think I need to have another. Let's see. On, off. This would be on. That would be off. All right. Do I have enough room in here? Sure. And I can cover that up. Okay. Well, because I wanted to have it even. Sure. Okay. It's going to turn out weirdish, but that's okay. Weird is good. And let's do like that. Oh, yeah, let's do there. Okay. <laughs> you know, it is just such a great thing that the, uh, what we call, it's kind of our version of no mistakes is the it just doesn't matter. Mom started saying that on our calls and it just kind of, it took shape. Um, and we kept going with it because it really doesn't matter. It's all good. The point is we have fun. And there we go. All right. And so on these, what I I think is fun is all, uh, alternating the coloring in the ones that we've done them half and half. And let's see, this one would be right here. And that's just a neat way to decorate it. But of course, you can decorate these however you wish. I, <laughs> you can turn them all into pearls and gems. I know somebody that is going to do that. Oh my goodness. Look at what I did. Skipped one. Cause I was just thinking. So I thinking, that's what I say. Thinking is overrated. <laughs> all right, let's do this one. All right. Well, while I'm doing this, if you're enjoying this one and I hope that you are, Please click on the like button. Sometimes you need a little stretchy hand break, and so you can just click while you're at it. Um, this one down here, this is up, right? Um, and if you liked it enough to see more, would love to have you be a subscriber to the channel. Um, we like to have fun. <laughs> uh, and if you like to have fun while you're tangling, so if you enjoy my goofy style, which that, you know, we bring it we i say we meaning our my tangle addicts community we like to bring the fun and the laughter in and the not taking ourselves seriously at all um because it helps and that it, it's kind of like our brand of zen um and, and i say are like as if i saw so I, I can cast some blame on on some of them maybe i don't know no not really it's a birds of a feather flock together is what I believe it is. So there we have it. Um, but yeah, I've always yeah added added laughter and stuff in because I don't know. It helps. It really does. And so we have an we have an escape room, but nobody wants to really escape. It's an escape from other things. <laughs> I'm gonna have to start using it because it's funny. Um, but yeah, we we have a lot of fun. A lot of amazing art is created and um so come and join us if you are interested uh we i, I teach uh, twice a week tuesdays and this one's going to be under here 
and I'm going to do that. Um, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Tuesdays are generally, um, well, except for the third Tuesday, but they generally have a fee or it's a, I have a one club member exclusive session. Um, and, and because it's, uh, you know, end of November going into December and I'm also a musician, um, it just means that, uh, the schedule gets all topsy turvy a bit. I try to minimize as much as possible. And, you know, I, and if, but if there's stuff that I can't avoid, like I'm not making, you know, a schedule for, you know, rehearsals, if, if I can make any choices, I, you know, I'm like, nope, sorry, not available on Tuesdays and Thursdays. But, uh, you know, there, every once in a while, we get we get one person that just doesn't want to uh, abide. <laughs> you know, I'm looking at this. I'm going to extend this one out. Uh, but anyway, but I, you know, the schedule is there. And if at all possible, we reschedule and don't cancel because we all need to have our fix. Um. And so just, it's one of those, stay tuned. There, There's information. If you go, if, when you go to the description section of the video, uh, you will see the links to the step outs. You will also see uh, below that um, is my link tree. And that's just, it has my links to everything. So you can follow me on Eventbrite for classes, on my Facebook page for classes. Uh, I do have them listed on my website. I don't have a mechanism at the moment. Um for registration on there that hopefully to be coming soon actually lots of cool things um after well <laughs> we'll see after the new year you know and this is the fun thing about this too is that you can just if you want to expand them it's kind of easy to do so love it but yeah so um i was mentioning the classes so i the i do free ones as well those are on thursdays genuine <laughs> generally. And, um, this, let's see, because we have Thanksgiving this week, they'll actually be on Wednesday. So if that works for you, come and join us. And like I said, we, we like to have a lot of fun while we tangle and, um, it's just an amazing time. All right, there we go. Okay. So what I've decided to do too is on these, let's see, which way do I want to be up? Okay. This way. So I'm, I'm just going to put a little, what I call a little swoosh mark, just a little, little teeny C shape, kind of like a shine, sort of, even though it's, you know, dark. I just realized, oh, never mind. It doesn't matter. Like that one, it doesn't, didn't need to be half that way. Apparently I'm doing them two different ways at the same time. Oh my goodness. All right. Now. Let's, ooh, let's start with the center. So I'm just going to, we'll just do some shading on it. And with, well, that's sort of working. Oh, this has gotten so mushed. It was, it was floppy. And then I decided to cut it, but that didn't really help. It's kind of good for some, some things, but not for all things. Let me find, oh, here we go. Let's see. Well, and even though this is seemingly thicker, I just want to put a little bit of, okay, let's use, let's use the pencil. I was trying to use what was left, but that's apparently not working. I just wanted to put a little bit right where that swish mark is just to give it a little dimension without going through and making, um, making them all pearly. All right. And then also, if you are on Facebook, as I'm smudging this, um, we have a Tangle Addicts community group and would love to have you join us. There are four questions that you have to answer in order to gain entry, and that is it. And neat. Okay, and with that, let's do this. Um, but I just want, I like to let you know that because if you want to join us, you know, we can't have too many friends that tangle. We, you know, 
Oh, actually, this one, I didn't need to put it. Oh, yes, I do. There we go. Just a little something with the graphite. Give it a little bit of motion or something. And I'm, again, just using what's left on this tortillon. And there we go. It's neat. It really is. All right, let's see if this is behaving. Okay, this one is behaving. Just because I want to. Let's add a little a little shine in there. Okay. All right. Fun, fun, fun. I've mentioned everything that I usually mention at the end. So, again, like, share, subscribe, all of that. And with that... Thank you so much for watching and laughing along with me, and I wish you happy tangling.